Are there any kids out there? I sure hope so. Today we're going to start a year-long journey through the Bible, beginning with the book of Genesis and a story about Abraham. We're skipping right through the Bible. We're skipping where the Bible. We're skipping share the Bible. We're skipping, 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 skipping. Old Testament, because knowledge is power. Many years passed, and many generations came and went, and finally we come to this guy, Abram. Abram? Wait, shouldn't it be Abraham? It says Abram. I don't know what you want me to do. It's right there. Fine, whatever. Just keep reading. Say、no. Abram. I don't care.、Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Ugh! You smell like a fruit roll-up. I know. I got new toothpaste.、Ugh. I didn't、Ugh. know. Is it? What?、Some... Just read it. Fine. Give it to me. Okay. God told. Abram to go out from his land to the land he would show him. He promised to make Abram into a great nation with many descendants. He promised to bless Abram and make his name great, and all the people on earth would be blessed through him. Whoa, those are some big promises. Well,、oh, I wonder if that has anything to do with the really big promise later about the Redeemer. Wait a minute. So God tells Abram to pack up and leave without even telling him where he's going. How far did he have to go? <gasps> For that, we're gonna need to look at the map. Um, wrong map, wrong continent, wrong century. Too far. Ooh, too close. Too boot shaped. Too nerdy. Way too nerdy. Stop. There we go. So let's see. Abram traveled from Ur to Haran, from Haran to Shechem, from Shechem to Egypt, and from Egypt. Back all the way where he was before. That's a long way. But hey, at least he didn't have to go alone. He had his wife Sarah, with an I, with him, plus his nephew Lot and his family. But Lot's family was blessed too, and soon his household got to be so big that Abram and Lot had to part ways. Abram told Lot to choose where he wanted to go. If Lot went right, Abram would go left. If Lot went left, Abram would go right. Oh, oh, hey, oh, I love this game. Okay, I'll, I'll choose. I'll choose. I'll choose. I'll choose. I'll choose. I'm gonna throw up. My genius brother Skip, everyone. <laughs> Anyways, Lot thought the land to the east looked pretty good, so he headed that way. Abram went to the west, and God promised him all the land he saw would someday belong to his family. Wait, his family? Ah,、uh, <laughs> small problem. That guy doesn't have any kids, and between you and me, that Sarah's not getting any younger. Yes, that would seem to be a small hangup. But look here!、Huh? Since Sarah couldn't have kids, Abram had a child with her servant Hagar, and they named him Ishmael. Well, there you go. No, that wasn't what God had in mind. He still wanted to fulfill his promise through Sarah. God told Abram that Sarah would have a son, that he should be named Isaac. And that he would be the one that would carry on God's promise. God changed her name to Sarah with an H, which means princess, because she would give birth to kings. And look at this! God changed Abram's name to Abraham. See, I told you. Ow, let me see that. Huh? Oh, Abraham means father of multitude. I wonder what Skip means. I think it's Greek for dopey little brother. Are you serious? Because I am a little brother. I mean, the the dopey love, Skip. Hey, what's up with these guys? Oh, hey guys. It says here Abraham and Sarah got three visitors, and they didn't know it, but the three men were sent from God. Abraham invited them in, and Sarah overheard them talking. One of them told Abraham that within one year, Sarah would have a son. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, that's pretty much exactly what Sarah said too, but. God promised it, didn't He? If God doesn't keep this promise, how do we know He's gonna keep that big promise for later? That promise about the Redeemer? Well, there's not much we can do about it now. Guess we'll just have to wait a year to see if Sarah has a kid. Yep, you're right. I better go grab some snacks. We're gonna be here a whole year. Somebody better tell Mom too. Or we could just turn the page, Skip. Oh, you're absolutely right. Well, here we go. Off. 
to the future. Here we are, one year later. What? No way. Well, would you look at that? It actually happened. Of course it did. God promised it would. Oh, sure. Like you didn't have any doubts? Now, it's game time. Are you ready to play a game? Today's lesson, trivia, God's promises to Abraham. How old was Abraham when God made the covenant with him? Covenant is another word for promise. Was he 19, 66, or 99? If you said 99, you are correct. What does the name Abraham mean? Son of God, father of many, or grandfather? Father of many. What did Abraham do when God told him that Sarah would have a baby? He laughed, he screamed, he cried. He laughed, and Sarah laughed too. God promised to give Abraham's family the land of Canaan for how long? One year? Until Abraham died, or forever? Forever! Today we talked about Genesis and the story of Abraham and Sarah. I'll see you next time and we'll learn some more.